be more specific. Yeah, it's real early morning. Oh. We have to get up? No. No, we can't be a slave to time. What time is it? It's, um, 8.30. Oh. Oh. I'm not a slave to 8.30. What do you suggest? Well, um, making the night last a little longer. Hmm. Maybe I should get an apartment in the North Pole. That's a wonderful idea. Then the night would last six months. Mm. Mm. you too, but it would be foolish to take chances. I'm willing to run the risk. Well, I'm not willing to let you because I wouldn't never forgive myself if I got you. Oh, you've been out already. Oh, I took Brandon to the school bus. Well, yeah, it is that time, isn't it? I didn't see you get out of bed. You must have got in very late. Yeah, it was close to three. You were sound asleep. Yeah. You should have awakened me. I woke up in the middle of the night and you were gone. But I left you a note. Yes, you did, but I still worry. Why do you have to go out so late? Oh, I've taken on some extra work. Don't they ask enough of you as it is? Well, this is a special thing, Santana. I couldn't very well say no. You want me to make some breakfast for you? I'd just like some more juice, thanks. Is it dangerous? No more so than everything else I do. No. I don't think it's like everything else. What? This new assignment. It's been different. Thanks. No. You don't have anything to worry about. No. I, I just can't help no, it. No, come here. Everything is fine. You got that? Everything. Is it? I'm not so sure this time. I don't know why. I don't want anything happening to you. Take my word for it. Everything is fine. You know, I'm really beginning to get the impression that you're avoiding me here. I mean, if you're worried about my heart giving out or something, you you, you shouldn't. I'm getting better every day, and very soon I'm going to be perfectly healthy. I know you will. I know you will. But I don't want to take any chances. Well, I do, okay? Look, don't pressure me. What am I? How am I pressuring you? By telling you that I love you and that I want to be with yes, you? Yes, you are in the circumstances. You know, I have to work today. This early in the morning? Yes, I do. You know, they called me. They said the same people had called in sick today. So they need me, and I oh, can't very well on. let them down. You were there all night last, or for a long time, anyway. Now, look, if your employees are calling in sick and they're, and they're faking it, then I think that's deplorable. I think you should do something well, about it. of course it is. But we very well can't test them, can we? We have to trust them. I'll see you later. Oh... Those are my clothes from last night. Would you mind asking Rosa to take care of them? Yeah, sure. Ah!
wasn't anywhere near that restaurant last night. Sleep, I need to get out of here and move around. Which, um, oh my, hey. Looks like a good time for some waves out there. Come on, you want to come out there with me and I'll teach you how to surf. Oh, no, 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 Dad, I don't think so. Oh, come on now. You backed out of me the last time. So I did. Oh, um, Mr. Cranston, I better go get... I gotta go, folks. Faster than a speeding bullet. Come in. Yes, Mr. Cranston? Some sand on the floor over there. I would like you to clean it up. First, I would like you to take my wife's clothes down to the laundry. Have you talked to uh, Gina lately? I really don't think you should be saying that name too loudly, do you? Look at what I found. What is it? This is the tape that Gina has been holding over my head for so long. And you know, she thought she hid it so well. But I found it. And she can't threaten me anymore. So you know something? It looks like I'm holding all the cards. I want to thank you for standing up for me the way you did the other day, for keeping quiet about the robbery. It's all right. I know I've treated you like hell all the way along. I want to apologize for that, too. You didn't have to do what you did, but you did it anyway. What I'm trying to say, Brick, is I'd like to thank you as a friend, and eventually as a friend. Well, we've uh, certainly come a long way. Yes, we have, but that's, that's all. I'll be taking off. for coming out here and saying it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what are you uh, going to do now? I, I don't know. I, I, I made, a real, made a real mess here. I've got a, a lot to straighten out. I, I don't know how I'm going to manage that. Well, you've got Augusta and Lionel. That's worth a lot. Yes, it is. Um, Lionel, what's the matter? Well, you take care of yourself. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. You too. Thanks. 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 I'm going to be leaving here now, so i got to get some things yeah. back. So I'll see you later, huh? Yeah.
here. Look, I had to see you real fast. Why are you sneaking around? You frightened me. I'm sorry. Except late last night, I was only trying to catch up on a little sleep. You scared the wits out of me. I'm sorry, but I have a lot of bad news to tell you, and I thought I'd best tell you now. Wait a minute. I don't want to hear any bad news. I can't stand it. Gina, it's Kirk. He has the tape. What are you talking about? Wait a minute. That's impossible. It's not impossible. He showed it to me. Did he actually play it for you? No. Well, no. But he showed it to me. Haley, all tapes look alike. If he didn't hear anything, he's probably just bluffing. I've got an idea exactly what he's up to. It's not going to work. Look, don't you worry. There's nothing for you to get so excited about. So what are we going to do? We're not going to do anything. I will take care of it. Just leave everything to me. Yeah, but don't you think that Mr. Cranston's a little dangerous? Not to me. Come on. I want to thank you for coming over here. And giving me this information, I appreciate what you're telling me. I want to know about anything else that goes on in that house. Well, the next time you come over, try not to scare me. You better get back to work. And don't you worry about a thing. If Kirk Cranston thinks he can count me out, he's got another thing coming. Oh, you know me. I don't have much appetite in the morning. I'm famished. Would you remind me to send some flowers to Julia for going to San Francisco for the night? I think we can forget the flowers. Then I'd have to explain it to her and she'd never understand. Uh, how are the eggs? Oh, they're real. They're wonderful. Mm. Last night was wonderful. You were wonderful. I have always been wonderful, darling. <laughs> That's nothing new. Yeah. I guess it's just that I missed you. Oh, wonderful. So we had to get divorced so you'd realize how special I am. Well, mm -hmm. I guess it's just that way. Some people should be divorced. I'm not. Okay. Honest. No, no. In fact, you might think about getting married. Oh, no. No. Huh? Not that, please. Thank you very much. I have crossed this bridge and burned it. Well, uh, last night was a burnt bridge? I you are staring at me. I think I liked it better when you smirked. Look, I'm sorry. I don't want to run off, but I, I, I've got to get dressed. I... No, 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 no. It's all right. No. I'm finished. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you for the breakfast. Thank you for the hall. And thank you for last night. <laughs> Glad you enjoyed it. Oh, I got you. Would you do me a favor? What's that? Well, uh, Cece has left me without uh, liquid assets, so to speak, and uh, I'm a little short of cash. Could you loan me... Uh, <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Are you asking me for money? Just just a little loan for a temporary... Is that what last night was about? Sort of softening me up for a pitch? Don't be ridiculous. Oh, no, you're right. Don't be ridiculous, Augusta. Hey, 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 wait a minute. No, Just forget no, it. No, no, okay? you're in a bind, so um, how much do you need? Listen to me. I'm, I'm not... Listening, I, no, I'm listening. no, wait a minute. No, if you won't I, tell me, I'll just have to guess. Listen, I will make it, okay? No, no, no. No, I, I don't want your money. I'm going to do just fine. Look, you can have whatever you want, okay? Augusta, will you stop this, please? Wait a minute. Just hold on. There. How's this? My God, I can't take this. Why? Wasn't last night worth it? La last night has nothing to do with this. Well, I'm so relieved, Lionel. Oh, come on. I shouldn't have, I should not have asked for your money. I'm not going to take your money. And that's the end of that, okay? Thank you. Maybe it's just better if you leave, huh? I'm not going to leave. No, I'm going to No, away. I think you should. I'm not leaving. Yes, you are. Oh, um, excuse me, please. I'm looking for Rick Wolf. Never mind. Sophia, hi, would you look at this? I'm on the most unbelievable run right now. Aren't you crazy? No, I'm not. I'm very hot right now. Lauren! It's been a day. After everything that's happened, after all you've been through, now you're at it again. Sophia, that was just a little bad luck. You were just as much the reason as I am that Cece went after my dad. I don't believe it. Sophia, just let me handle this. You're not going to handle anything, Brick. This is just a game, and I happen to be winning here. And you've won all you're going to win. Now take your chips, cash them in, and get out. Hey, you can't put me out of here, pal. You don't even work here anymore. Look, are you out of your mind? Hey, 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 hey listen to me. You got to get because of that. Remember? Oh, all right, all right. I'm just listening, please. Look. 
Just remember the kind of pain that that caused. How about how much your family lost, huh? Rick, that was just a little bad luck. Now, I happen to be winning here. I'm going to well, be able stop to... Stop telling yourself! Leave me alone! Stop telling yourself you're doing it for other people! And face the fact that you're here because you have to be here. You're crazy, man. Warren, you can't leave here, can you? Hell, you're like I leave here. Why can't I? Just tell me why I can't, huh? Because you've turned into a criminal? Your father is broke? And your grandmother almost killed somebody. Now, will you wake up before it's too late, please? Your, your head breakup. I can't stop. I was, I was just not getting ready to start all over again. I don't know what to do with you, help me. Yeah, yeah, we'll help you. Look, there's, uh, there's doctors, there's therapists. Uh, my, my dad had this kind of problem. Uh, I'm sure you can, I can speak to him, you'll find somebody for him. Warren, yeah. everybody loves you. Just have to admit you have a problem and that you want to help. Please, I um, I don't, I don't want to spend the rest of my life like this. Just, just tell me what to do, Brit. Just, just help me. Okay, we'll help you. We'll all help you. Hey. Hi. What, uh, what's going on? Well, I'm sorry to worry you. I, I just couldn't talk. Well, what's wrong? I think that we. Llevar definitivamente a cabo el plan. No podemos esperar más. ¿Qué ha pasado? Kir sospecha algo. ¿Cómo lo sabes? Lo sé. ¿Has estado pensando en algo? Sí, tengo una idea. ¿Cuál es? No es del todo infalible, pero podría dar resultado. Te escribiré una nota pidiéndote que te reúnas conmigo. Uh -huh. Déjala en algún sitio en que parezca que intentas ocultarla, pero no tan bien que no pueda encontrarla. Lo haré. ¿Y luego qué? Luego buscas una excusa y le dices que tienes que salir. Tiene que ser una buena historia, ¿entendido? De acuerdo. Bajarás al garaje donde el cebo estará esperando en tu coche. ¿Quién va a ser? No la conoces, es una mujer policía. Tú te ocultarás y esperemos que Kirla siga creyendo que eres tú. No creo que intente hacer ningún movimiento. Pero voy a colocar a alguien aquí fuera por si acaso. Antes de que entre, desordenaremos el dormitorio. Como si hubiéramos hecho el amor. Esperemos que tenga algún fallo para no pasar por esto demasiadas veces. Kir tendrá que ver algo más que un simple encuentro entre nosotros. Es difícil saberlo. Tendremos que esperar a ver cómo se comporta. El caso es que cuando decida hacer algún movimiento se encontrará con el cebo y yo en tu lugar. En principio parece ser un buen plan. Me gusta. Pues a mí no. Es arriesgado, pero lo peor es que... no me gusta verte en esta casa con él. Es como agitar una bandera roja delante él de un toro. no intentará nada aquí. ¿No? A veces creo que no tenemos ni idea de lo que es capaz de hacer. ¿Tienes aún el mensáfono que te di? Uh, sí. Quiero que lo lleves siempre y úsalo en cuanto ocurra algo. No importa cuántas veces me llames sin ser necesario. Prefiero que aúyes como una loba que te mate. De repente me doy cuenta de que es muy peligroso para ti. Eso no es problema. No te preocupes. Me preocupo. Bueno... Perdonad, voy a... Voy a hacer surf y necesito el equipo. Tranquilo, te ya me iba. ¿Estás bien? Sí. Gracias por ayudarme con esto. Bien, voy a hablar contigo pronto. Uh -huh. Go away. Oh, sorry, I'm coming. I'm sorry, I'm... Rick, um... Uh, Gaston. Mom, can we come in? Of course, but I'm sorry. The place is a mess. I was just cleaning up. That doesn't matter, man. Uh, I don't plan to stay long. I just want to bring Warren over from the casino. The casino? What were you doing there? You look... Both of you look awfully solemn. What's the matter? I, I started gambling again, Mom. Huh? Oh, Warren. Don't worry. I, I didn't lose any more money. I actually earned a little bit. That's not the point. The point is, I have a problem with gambling, and it's very serious. Rick and I talked about it, and he suggested a place where they treat people with this kind of problem, so I'm going to go there for a while. Yeah, my, my dad, uh, Glenn Walsh, he was there. It's a place up north, I guess. It's very nice. Uh, back, they've been pretty good with uh, dealing with compulsive gambling. Compulsive? Well, look, I have a problem. I cannot stop gambling. Well, uh, how long would you be gone? Probably for a few months. Oh, 
Well, I, I called them, and and they can take me right away. So I, I think I'd better... I think I'd better go ahead and, and get on up there. If I wait, I don't know. I'm, I'm starting to go a little crazy. Mom, can't we help you? I wish you could. Rick made me realize the mess that I've gotten myself into, and I think I've needed help for quite some time. I think the sooner I get myself out of it, the better off I'll be. Whoa. Can we visit him? Well, not at first. Uh, they feel it's uh, a little disruptive, but uh, later on, sure. I failed you. It's because... No, Mom. Just, no, I... no, no. Don't, don't. Don't say that. Well, look you. I don't know what it was, but I'm going to find out. And I'm going to stop it. So sorry. Well, if you have to do it, all right. I mean, I'll do anything to help. I love you so much. I love you too, Mom. Oh, I'm sorry for everything I've caused, all the trouble here. Mm. Okay, Warren, uh, give me a call, huh? Yeah. Yeah, great. Thanks. Rick. Thank you. Can I can I write to you? Yes. Yes, you can. You can probably come visit me pretty soon, too. I'll find out and let you know. I um I just need to get my head straightened out, Mom. I don't know how I got this messed up. Hey. Hey, what's going on here, huh? Oh, well, your father was here last night. Oh, really? Did you guys have a fight? Mom, no, we did. I uh, didn't have a... Well, we did. So, well... What happened, Mom? <clears throat> really? R really? <laughs> well, Mom, Mom, I'm glad. That's that's great. And well, it was a long way from great. Really? Well, I'm... I'm sorry for all the hell I put you guys through. You deserve a lot better than me. You are the best thing that ever happened to us. And we love you very much. I love you too, Mom. I miss you. I miss you too. And you know what? When I come to visit you, I will wear very ordinary clothes so people won't look and say, well, no wonder he has so many problems. Look at his mother. <laughs> no one better say that, Mom. You're a terrific, Mom. A little crazy, a little wild, but... No, I don't want to come in. I just wanted to stop. I was driving by to see how your father's doing. Oh, he's in pain, but he's going to be fine. I'm glad. His pride got shot up pretty badly. Yeah, I guess so. Listen, I want you to come to the apartment and see me, and Ted and Callie, a lot, because I'm not going to be coming by the house very much anymore. What, you two can't resolve this whole thing? No. No, for a long time, up until now, I wanted to see you, but not anymore. Not after what he's done, and after the way he talked. I think I understand. I knew that this man had compassion and warmth and humor. And I thought I could find it again. It's been hard for me to understand what he's done to the Lockridges. I know. For me, too. And I'm afraid I'm partially responsible. But anyway, the only thing I do know is that I have been hanging on to a dream for a long time. It's time for me to wake up and start facing the real world. So... That's what I'm going to do. You come visit me. Of course I will. Thank you. Unlocked, Gina. You know you should really be more careful. I didn't know I had to be careful with you yet. I wasn't expecting a visit this soon. You are considerably improved. Oh, thank you, yes. Much better. You're strong enough to walk down here all by yourself? 
What else are you strong enough for? Yeah. <laughs> you know, you really missed your calling, Jeannie. You should have been a mistress, maybe for Cece. Perhaps you would have lasted longer that way. It would surprise you if I became Cece's wife again, wouldn't it? Surprise me. Oh, yes. It would definitely surprise me. Well, it's not impossible. Don't count me out. I don't count you at all. Gina, I'll tell you what. Why don't you just listen to me, okay? I don't mind, as long as you're amusing. <laughs> I didn't come here to perform for you, Gina. I came to get the tape of my confession. The one I believe you just put into your purse. You see, I figured that that little lie I told Haley would produce the tape eventually, so why don't you just... Give it to me. You, you're not intending to use that, are you? Do you really want to find out? You know, you're crazy. Yes, I am crazy, so why don't you just give me the real tape? Please, just put that Give down. me the tape, Gina! Thank you. That's much better. I don't really need it anyway. No, you don't. What are you going to do with it, if I might ask? I'm going to destroy it. So you don't have it to hold over my head any longer. It's going to take a great weight off of my shoulders. And from now on, you are going to do exactly what I tell you to do! And to begin with, I want that piece of jewelry I asked for. Do you understand? How could I forget about your alibi for the night we tried to kill Eden? I'll handle that for you. Today, don't worry about it. I'm not worried about anything. I have the tape! Poor Kirk. I'm afraid the joke's on you again. <laughs> oh, you didn't like it. Oh, oh, it is wonderful. Surfing, I can't believe it. I have never had so much fun at all. <laughs> Ted, you are great out there. You're a pro. Uh, kids in Santa Barbara born with... Silver spoons in their mouths or silver boards in their hands? I guess. Okay, I, I mind can. either one. I just have to dry off with you. Oh, here. please. Uh, you know, I, I better be getting back. I hope your dad didn't see us. Oh, come on. Stop worrying about Dad. You know, you were really fine out there today. Was right. I? Yeah, I'm telling you, most people are terrified the first time they get a try, but... You impress me, I'll brave you, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, me too. Uh... This is it. It's like we're gonna share. <laughs> well, I, I, I better bring down some more towels. Do you, uh, do you have more uh, swimming parties in the summer? Yeah, yeah, we used to. Well, I, I better uh, <laughs> stock up, just in case. About it. You're a surfer today. A maid? I forget. <laughs> I just hope I don't get in trouble being with you guys. Yeah. He's not with Dad. What do you mean?
the entire property line, including the Lockridge estate. Wonderful. I'm proud of you. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. You, you know, a funny thing happened today. I called the, uh, the Orient Express, and they tell me you haven't been there in two days. They also tell me that uh, they haven't had anybody call in sick in at least two weeks, and they didn't know anything at all about a flu epidemic. I don't know who you talk to, because I know I was there. Look at this. Huh? That's funny. You are cool as a cucumber. <laughs> You must not have been as sick as you thought you were. Either that or there was something remarkable that happened to make you well again. You know, I think it's safe for you to kiss me. I've missed that. And I've missed you. I want you to sleep in my room with me tonight. Well. I would also like to know why you've been lying to me so much? It was for your own sake. For my own sake. I was worried about you. I didn't want to excite you. I, I'm worried about your heart, even if you aren't. Yeah, well, that's really sweet, Eden, but I do not want you to lie to me. Oh, right? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to lie to you. I'm a new man, Eden. I intend to prove that to you. This is a babysitter. Oh, this is Aiden Cranston. Can I speak to um, Inspector Castillo, please? Gee, I'm sorry. He and Mrs. Castillo just left a second ago. Where did they go? Uh, well, they told me they were going to the casino for lunch. Um, okay. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. Bye. Mm -hmm. Tricked me again. I was hoping to find you here. Your mother, when I talked to her, and she told me what you're going to do. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to miss this place, Dad. Can't believe it's gone, that we lost everything, that I was the cause of it. Hey! Warren! I was the cause, you weren't. CC wanted revenge against me. You were just the instrument. Son, I meant what I said. We're gonna fight back. People have lost everything and come back stronger than ever. And you will too. Look at what you're doing. I admire you so much. Dad, I want you to know that I'm... I'm gonna come back and help with the fight. I'm not trying to run away from anything here. I know that. I just wish I'd done it sooner. You didn't know. Yeah, there's uh, there's something you can do for me and for Lakin, though. What's that? Try to patch things up with Mom. You guys are meant for each other. If you could... I, I, I'd just like to, to think that something good came out of, of, of this whole mess that I made. You guys had put things back together, Dad. It would do a lot towards helping me forgive myself. How's that putting pressure on you? <laughs> no pressure. I love you, mother. I love you too, in case you hadn't noticed. Well, I've never done it for a second yet. I'm, I'm just sorry it cost you so much. Uh, what about all the happiness? What happened? Oh, I owe you for that. Next chapter. 
Yeah. How did she manage it? I read her perfectly. I, I had her! What? Hello? You almost trapped me into killing Eden in cold blood. You had the gun. Kirk, are you there? Oh, yes, I can hear you panting. Well, don't get too excited. You don't want to give yourself another heart attack. You might really die. Not that you don't deserve to. Still don't want to say anything, huh? Well, that's all right. You can just sit back and listen. I only called you to warn you. If you ever try to double-cross me again or pull a gun on me, you are going to regret it. Because I will send a copy of this tape to everybody you know. You have a message. ¿Qué te trae por aquí? Necesito hablar contigo un momento. ¿Te importa? No. ¿Nos disculpas un minuto? No, no faltaba. No tardaremos mucho. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Ocurre algo? Necesitaba hablar contigo. Me he enterado por tu canguro que estabas aquí. ¿No ocurre nada? Vamos a ver. Dijiste... Habíamos quedado en no dejarnos ver juntos en público para que pareciera que teníamos una aventura. Tenemos que dejar de vernos abiertamente. Lo siento, no quería colocarte en una situación incómoda. Sí, es incómoda. No quiero mezclar a Santana. Si no llevamos este asunto con discreción, tendremos que olvidarnos de todo. Está bien, no te enfades. ¿De qué me quieres hablar? Kir ya se levanta. Ha recorrido toda la propiedad, se siente como King Kong y quiere que duerma en la habitación esta noche. Sabe que le he estado mintiendo. Me lo ha dicho. Creo que ya ha mordido el anzuelo. Deberíamos tratar de pescarle esta noche. No puedo. ¿Por qué? Porque le he prometido a mi mujer y al chico que pasaría todo el día con ellos. Bueno, no quiero parecer insensible, pero no podrías aplazarlo. Hay mucho juego. No solo es eso. No, no he organizado bien lo relativo al plan. No tengo a nadie para, para actuar y vigilar. ¿Y qué hago yo esta noche? Te sugeriría que encontraras un buen motivo para no ir a esa habitación. Para ti es fácil decirlo. Oye... Está bien, está bien. Lo siento, no puedo. Si las cosas te desbordan, si solo parece que te van a desbordar, usa el mensáfono y me presentaré en cuestión de minutos. Pero la mejor solución es alejarse de él durante esta noche. ¿Podrás hacerlo? Creo que sí. Bien. Ahora tengo que volver con Santana. ¿Me llamarás cuando tengas un cebo y un vigilante? Sí, lo haré. No, I'm sorry if I got upset. I didn't mean to. I realize you're under a great deal of stress. Well, I know I should have called, but I didn't know what to do. I just wanted to see you. Look, I'll talk to you later. Thanks for your help. Sam? Yes, sir. <laughs> Can you tell me when the, <laughs> the next ferry will be? Oh, no, second, in about two minutes or so. Oh, great, thanks. Oh, uh, can I offer you something, Mom? Oh, no, thanks, I'm fine. You certain? Yes. Look, I'm sorry about that. So what does she want? Uh, she's just impatient about some personal problems that haven't been solved yet. She wanted to talk to me about it. She came all the way out here for that? Well, yeah. You know, Eden, she likes to get right down to the bone. Yes, indeed. So what does that mean? You've got to go? Oh, we haven't even had lunch yet. I don't have to go anywhere. Except to get us both a fresh drink. Excuse me, I'll be right back. Eden? Oh, uh, Santana, I, I apologize for interrupting. Look, I I'm just going to say this straight out. I don't know what's going on with you and Cruz right now, but I have no intention of losing him. I want you to stay away from him. I know that Cruz has been meeting you. And for Brandon's sake, if for nothing else, I wish you'd just leave him alone. 
One more emotional hurt might just push Brandon right over the edge. And I don't think we'd want to be responsible for that. I love Cruz very much, and I'll fight for him if I've got to, but please don't make me. Just stay away from us all. You have so much, Eden. Let me keep what I've got. adventure with the A-Team, America's favorite crime smashers. Then, Hunter gets set up by a pretty crook, followed by Stingray.